Hello everybody. Anybody new to my videos? My name is Jeff. And welcome to my little machine shop here. I'm doing the video today on the repair of my little mistake. Um, I bumped the handle on the ball turner when I was cutting these radiuses. The radius turned out beautiful. <clears throat> so I had my buddy put the welding right here. I said just blob some weld on it. You didn't have to make it real pretty because I'm going to cut it off anyways. Exactly what he did. I want to thank Joe for that. Thank you Joe very much for fixing me up. And this was actually done two hours after the mistake was made. We had it repaired. We had it filled in that night. I'm just now getting around to um, getting this uh, repair video done. So now I've been dealing with this all week with doctors. Uh, heck of a week. Um, anybody new to my videos? I have pulmonary fibrosis. I'm terminally ill. Um, uh, so I have problems breathing, and this shows up in the video. So, anyways, we're going to do this repair today. We're going to recut this. We're also going to cut that pocket right there. You see, there's a pocket right here, and that's going to really help us um, get, get, get around some of the little bit of damage that occurred right here. And we also have a profile here that's much thinner than mine, as you can see. So we're going to cut the sides of this out, too. So you're never going to know this happened. But I did make an error. Now, let's go back, and I'm going to show you how that error was made. Um, I bumped the handle and caught the side of this with the end mill and the machine was still running. So here's what basically happened. This was sitting in the in the ball fix the turner. I can't put this out here like it was like that. And the end mill, I had just finished training the radius. So the end mill was sitting right about here. And I bumped this handle and ran and, and continued to turn it into the end mill. And when the end mill grabbed it, it it uh it started to pull it, pull it towards the end mill, and it lifted a little bit. And by that time, I shut it off, and I caught it. So we didn't tear it up too bad. But mistake was made from bumping the handle here and turning the ball turn just a little bit more past after I cut this radius here. The so end mill came around, cut the radius. I was right about here. And I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what occurred at that point. I know I was done cutting the radius. <clears throat> and I left the mill running. I had turned the camera off because I don't even have footage of this. And then somehow I bumped this handle right here and turned it into the end mill and it grabbed it. And um, that's how that happened. So it wasn't something I did during the machining process. It was done after I cut the radius. And it was just a, a not paying attention. And I caught that handle and I hit it. And then, of course, it, it wanted to run it in, you know, the end mill wanted to pull it towards the end mill, and it pulled it towards the end mill and lifted it a little bit. And then, you, you know, you go back and look at that video, right at the very end of that video, you can see what, what happened. So it's filled in. We're going to cut that pocket, <clears throat> and we're going to recut this flat. So let me get busy. And again, anybody new to my videos, my name is Jeff, and uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. So let's, let's get this repaired. This video is just going to be on the repair of this. not going to be very long at all. This is going to be really quick. Okay. <clears throat> so I got it in here. And all we're going to do here is we're going to come in. We're going to pick up our edge right here. Because the only thing we need to do is find our center of our part. And I'm going to come up. We're going to plunge in with a three-quarter inch end mill. Actually, first, I think I'm going to cut this flat first. So, And that's just going to be eyeballed. All I'm going to do is bring, them, bring the head of the mill down. We're going to do what I always do with a piece of one, one thousandth inch brass stock. We're going to touch off that brass stock and get it to drag. So our end mill will be one thousandth above the surface here. Then uh, uh, I'm going to come in. I'm going to start cutting this weld out. We're going to bring this in flat. And then we're going to change out end mills and cut that pocket. And that's it. That's all we're going to do today. Um, there's a little bit of marking on the side here and again this profile the width of this profile has got to get cut in considerably um i'll i'll, I'll think about whether i want to do that on this video i might just throw a little 316 inch ball end mill in and go ahead and cut the sides back a little bit and start to do our, our bottom profile right here um let me think about that but let's get busy here and i'll um, i'm not even going to pick these edges up on camera i'm going to do this real quick and we're going to start off with an end mill in it. Okay, I picked up my edges. We're zeroed here. I'm already in 100. The spindle is dead center on the side of that. We're going to take our edge finder out here. 
And I'm going to just put in the same 5 16 end mill that I used to cut the radius with. Now, we'll take this half inch collet out. Five sixteen. You're getting my carbide M hill real quick. Okay. We got my brass shim stock. We'll go in and find our find our top of our piece here, our work piece. Uh, let's tighten this thing mill down. Okay, she tight. Uh, okay, bring your head down. Bring it in. Got our brass shim stock. Let me get it close first. That's close. Still up there considerably, actually. So, I was going to bring this down, move this brass shim stock back and forth until it drags. Okay, it's on it. Right there. I'm going to zero my Z. Let's uh, double check it. There's one thou. I thought I was a little high. It's dragging just a little bit. Okay, there's our drag. I'm going to zero again. Bring the head up. Brush him stock out of the way. Ah. So what I'm going to do, since we're zeroed, I'm going to get this, get this out of the way here. I don't see how well that light it, you're lit up there. But let's go ahead and bring your head up a little bit more. We're going to run it down here. You know, remember the width of my the width of my receiver here. I think it's one four twenty. I'm pretty sure it's one four twenty. Let's see. One four. I'm squeezing a little hard there. One four twenty. So we're seven ten to the middle. No. Oh, see what my lugs are. I can't remember what those are either. I don't want to, okay, oh, we're going to miss that lug just fine. Okay, we'll be able to eyeball the lug. So let's do it. Let's start cutting here. All right, we're going to spin this puppy really quick. I didn't warm it up, but it's been warming here all day. Okay, bring our head down. Let's see where I'm at here. Let's go right about there. We're going to lock the head. Let's do some cutting. Let's cut this weld. You know, spin, spin a little faster. I'm spinning at 2280. Okay. Okay, do some more. Well, you got 40 to go. And we're already there. I'm going to set my my axe Right there. I'm pretty damn close to that lug right there. Alright, X. Zero. Okay. 
Yeah, I told you it won't take long. Repair this. Okay. Bring her down. We got 40 to go. We'll take her easy. We'll go down to um, 20. We got 20,000 right there. We got 20,000 to go. Let's get this done. There's our zero. We can miss the lug. All right. I need to put my mask on. Hold on. I don't need my doctor stumbling across my videos somehow. You see me with no mask on. Okay. Let's go on down. Get close to that floor. My five thousandths above. Okay. Yeah, we're good now. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's finish this up. I'm gonna do it from over here. Oh, yeah. One thousandth above the floor. Okay. Little spot there I missed. There we go. And we're good. I always keep my my little fingernails long, just the hair long, so I can feel that. We still got about a thousand, two thousand to go there. I'm sitting at minus three ten thou. All right. Okay. I think I can live with that. See what I can feel here. Yeah, I'm gonna drop another half a thou. Looks good. Looks real good. Okay, I'm gonna drop it a half a thou. All right. Yep. There we go. Okay.
Okay. I think I'm happy with that for now. I'm going to go across the front of the lug here. And we're going to call that, just put it dead in the center. So there's our center. Now this is going to matter now. So now we're going to put the three quarter in. We're going to go ahead and cut that pocket. So I'm going to turn off the camera and get my end mill set up, okay? Okay, three quarter end mill collet going in. And I still have never gotten another, um, no way, I'm going to push that camera back a little bit. I've never got another three-quarter end mill. Anybody remembers I did a video, I used a three-quarter, same two flute. I've never uh, purchased another one, so that's all we're going to use. We're going to do the same thing here. I need to come down and find my height, bring it down with the, with the brass, find that. Then we're going to go look and see how deep I got plunge. Let me go get that real quick. See how deep this is. And I'm just going to do it. I happen to know that that doesn't play a whole lot of function in that receiver's function. Uh, the functioning of the receiver, that pocket right there, doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm just going to give me, cut it to what one of the veneer tells me. It's 82 thou, is what it says. Okay. Got my brass. Let's get this done quick. Okay. Feel a hit. There it is. All right. So there's my drag. It's, it's dragging. I'm going to zero right there. I'm going to bring it back up. Just a couple of thou. So we're going to take it into 710 because that's the middle of it. 1 4 20 divided by 2. Okay. 710. There it is. 710. There's our middle. Now, I'm going to bring it right up to the lug. Find out where I'm at here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the brass. See where it's at. The front of that lug. So I have to pick the lug up with the edge finder and all that crap. There it is. Okay, right there. With zero my X, I'm gonna move it twenty-five thousandths away from that lug. And that's gonna be our stopping point. There's twenty-five. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna bring this head back down. It was nine ten, that's seven fifty. So the pocket was nine ten long. So that pocket's nine ten long. I believe. Let me take a look. It's actually a little bit bigger than that. 950. So we're going to go 950. All right. So I'm going to take 750 from 950, 200. So all we got to do is we're zeroed right here is move that end mill on the X towards me, 200 thousandths. And we've got our 950 pocket. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to bring my head back down to zero. 
we're going to use the fine feed to feed it in that at 80 we'll, we'll round it off to 85,000 steps and we'll cut our 200 and get that pocket cut okay she's sitting at zero I'm gonna lock the head <laughs> When I locked the head, the Z moved nothing. It's still sitting on zero, 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 zero. Okay. Two flute end mill. We're 25,000 in front of that lug. We're going to be gentle here. Let me engage my fine feed. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to unlock the quill. You can zero it now. There it is. It touched down at, according to this, was what I heard was right around 2000. We're going to zero right there. Okay. So we're going to start coming in. Remember, it's the two flute end mills, so it's going to make noise. Two flutes hitting make a lot more noise than four flutes. It's much smoother having four flutes. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Be gentle here. You can hear it. Make sure my table is locked. Well, I lock my table and my X is zero. <laughs> it hasn't moved. So let's get this done. I'm going to go in only about uh, maybe 25,000 at a time and be gentle. Cut my 200 back to zero, 25, 200. And we do it, then we'll, the last cut, we're doing 85. We'll only be uh, I'm 10,000. Yeah, just going in. Okay, there's 25. Now we're going to cut 200 thou. Fifty thou, one hundred thousandths, one fifty. I'm going to shot. We're going to stop ten thousand short, and you and cut that ten thousand on our finish. Always leave. Always stop short. Never, never cut your finish until the very last pass. Your finish cut. So 190 right there. Okay, we're gonna come back to zero. Okay. There we are. Drop down another twenty twenty-five thousand. Forty, fifty. Cut to our two hundred. One fifty. I mean one ninety. Excuse me. One ninety. Back to zero. Actually, I'm stopping just slight short of zero. Same thing. Five thousand short. Right. Right there. Okay. Another 25. There we go. 75 thousandths. Hey. 
and one nine zero and back to zero or back to five thousand excuse me and here we are right there we got ten thousand to go eighty thousand one two three four five lock I was going all the way to 200. One ninety. Two hundred. Just go back to our zero. And then we'll pull this puppy out. We'll shut it off and then raise it. Raise the head out of there. Okay. Let's raise the head out of there. Beautiful. Work nice. Very nice. Okay. I might as well bring the ball end mill in and cut that cut this channel down a little bit. Not bad at all, people. Not bad at all. I should have probably cut that a little more with the 516. All right, we can only do that at the end. Okay, I'm going to shut the camera off. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put a ball end mill. And we're going to go ahead and try to and do a light profile of the bottom here. And this is done. Let me turn this off, change end mills. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, 316 collet going in. And this is pretty much a brand new 316 ball. I forget what I used it for. Uh, we did something on here with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not what it was. I don't remember what I used it for, what I bought it for. But it was one of the videos I did. I, had, I purchased this. And here it is. So we're going to go in. And we're going to cut the sides of these profiles. We're going to start profiling this thing. I got to cut near that lug, so I'm going to extend that end mill a little longer than I would like. We're going to go 200 deep. Let's right, see if we got enough clearance right now. Okay, we're still in the center at 710. I'm going to zero it there. <clears throat> because we want to come to the same dimension on each side as we bring these, this profile in. Let's see if we got enough end mill extended here. We got to go 200 in, 200 deep. Okay. So the center is going to be 710 to the edge right there. You got to divide that end mill in half and add it to that. So we get the edge of the end mill finds the very side of this. So the center of it sitting at 710. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So, if you're not familiar with with uh, fractions, all you got to do is divide 3 by 16. So, we'll take the 3 divided 16 equals, of course, I already know this, 187.5 is the decimal equivalent, equivalent, yeah. <laughs> the diameter of that end mill. And we're going to divide that in half. Nine three seven. Put the edge of that end mill right to the edge of this receiver. <sighs> and we're going to cut. So here, take a look at this. Right here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go in. We're going to cut that wall right there on both sides. Okay. I might, I might go ahead and profile this a little bit, but this, 
this right here needs to be put in. So I think at this point, we're just going to cut this back wall. We're going to do the length of this right here. From here to right about, I'm going to eyeball that too. It just, it's, it's sitting right around the front of that quarter inch hole right there. So I'm going to bring my end mill right to there. We're going to cut this wall 200 deep. Same dimension on both sides. So this measures 880. 880 is my measurement or width. <clears throat> so, uh, let me do, do a little bit more math here. Okay. So, 1.420 minus 0 .880 equals, oh, I screwed that one up. Somehow I got 10,000 something. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. 1.420. Subtract. 0.880 equals 540. So our finish is 540 from the center. I think that's what we're going to do. So um, we're going to go 540. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, Divided by two. All right, 540 is going to be finished. That's going to give us our 880. But we got to put the end mill in there. So basically, we're going back, back to zero here. All right. Here's our zero. We're going to come out 540. Here's 540. Then we got to add that. That uh, a ninety-three thousandths for the end mill. All right there's five forty. Hold on, let me show you how to do this for you. Ninety-three seven. Clear it. Point four zero plus nine three. Oh, damn it. Um, point the so six thirty three from the center is finished. Okay, so let's, let's go back up, take come out. That, that is, there's our finish right there. Okay, you can see where the end mill is. That that's I just happened to be sitting at six thirty two four. So let's come on back right where we want about where we want to start. We're gonna come out. Oh, I gotta find my, my depths first. Didn't do that. Okay, grass, same thing. Come on in. Okay. There it is. Right there, zero. And come out. I'm gonna say zero right about here on the X. Okay, let's get our full depth now. I'm gonna go down 200 thou. Let's go 190. There's 190 right there. Knock the head. <sighs> We're going to spin this puppy 2400. I'm at 2500 RPM. Let's just go in and do a skim cut real quick. I'm going to move in front of my zero, 5,000 for finish. Now, let's not, before we cut, let's just add, add the end mill and or half, our, half our width of this and see if that don't touch off right at that number. 
So 710 and 9337. Okay, 6337. Let me write that down so I don't forget that one. Point. Okay. okay. Point seven ten plus point zero nine three seven equals eight oh three. My drove's in at eight twenty one right now. And here we go. Coming in. We're at eight thirteen. Ten thousand to go. And I remember there's a little damage right there, and that's what you saw just touch. It's a little, it chewed up. So it's not dead on. So we're standing at 809 right now, and it's catching some of that. Now let's go ahead. Okay, we're there. I'm going back. 10 above. Right there, it's not cutting at all. So we're about 5,000 off. I'm going back to 5,000 in front of my zero to start. Okay, let me put my phone down, get my length. We're going to cut this puppy. Two seven hundred. So, start from here. Let's go ahead and go up two seven hundred. And here you go. It's not even touching here. It only touched where the damage was. We go all the way up to two seven hundred. There it is, right there. Two seven hundred. I'm gonna stop at two six eighty five. So there you go. You can see it's not touching, it's not cutting, and we're still sitting at eight eight oh eight. And it should it should touch make contact around eight oh three. There we go. Drew sitting on 803, and we just made contact. Very light. So let's run down. Yeah, it's just barely touching it. Barely touching it right there. It's cutting. Okay. 5,000 from finish. Right there. Okay, we're going to go in. Let's get some cuts made here. We're going to make a nice cut here. You know, kind of shit on me, cutting in the wrong direction. So we're at two, three hundred. Okay, so that length of that is going to be right around two seven hundred. We're seeing at two three hundred. Let's keep going. Two five hundred. Two six hundred, two nine, two point six nine zero. Go back. Now we're getting this beautiful mirror, mirror type of finish right there. But now we're doing a climb cut. We'll stop five thousand short. Okay. Remember our finish number is six. Six thirty-eight. This is where I decided to make it was 637. So we're 752. Seven hundred. So we're doing a fifty thou cut. Probably a little much for that little end mill, but it's doing it. So we're going to stick with the 50 thou cut and get the damn thing done. I'm going to stop at 2, 690, 630, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
to 690 return and I think I'm going to finish this up on um, time lapse and get the damn light out of the way so we'll finish this up on time lapse and I'll finish cutting this side I'll go over and cut the other side all on time lapse so we're going to finish five shorting in here and this go to time lapse I'll get this done for y'all then our repair will be done plus more Okay, I just finished cutting it. I'm gonna pull down the pull down the mill here. Okay, I haven't deburned anything. I haven't haven't broken any of the edges. There's our pocket. Our pocket's cut. Okay, we cut our pocket, and we started our side profiles. So we got our radiuses done. We have repaired this. Now there's a little little spot right there. It looks like there wasn't quite enough weld right in there. And I could probably open that up a little bit more, and we'll but we'll uh, we'll go over and chamfer. When we run a chamfer and we break the edge of that pocket right there, a little bit of that will come out. But we've repaired it, so the repair is there. You go. There's the repair. There's our pocket. Races are cut. She's good to go again. But my my little error I made by bumping that handle on that on that uh, ball turner. Nearly cost me my part, but it didn't. Um, I caught it in time. I shut the machine down, got it out of the way. I was quick to react. And uh, oh, let me take this off. Okay. Oh. So, anyways, we're good to go. We're back to back to on track. So I'm happy with that. And um, we still got our holes right here. I'm probably actually going to do off camera just for my own peace of mind to set this back up in the ball turner. Pick them holes up again and just go in there and retrim. Make sure them trim. This, this is all still at dead accurate the way and it, and it was. I cut it right to 750. But just for peace of mind, I'm just going to go in and check these corners out. And uh, we'll get her done. But there you go. She's repaired, people. She's ready to rock and roll. So we're going to get moving on here. Um, I'm going to decide what I want to do for part, uh, for part 13 on this. And, um, yeah, well, it's Friday, so I'm going to try to do part, start part 13 on Sunday. Um, so look, look for part 13 Sunday night. Um, this is going to be up here. I'm getting this in, up tonight here. So it's Friday. So this is, uh, this will be uploaded here very shortly. So repair is done. People, she's still on her way. Thank you very much for watching, sharing, subscribing my videos. Um, I love you all very much. Please like and subscribe. It's a big deal. I'm still trying to get away from the, you know, how YouTube is with uh, um, any firearm related stuff, especially machining stuff, making stuff. They they just crap on you. Um, and they have done just that to me, even though I'm well within their policies. And, and I used to harp on this quite a bit and I'm not harping on it anymore. But I am going to let the new subscribers know YouTube has shadow banned me. So I need to fight tooth and nail and keep going. And that's what we're going to do. I love you all very much. Thank you for supporting me. Um, my email will be in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, that'll be in there too. Um, thank you all very much. And look forward to getting, uh, or excuse me, look forward to part 13. I'm going to try to get it done on Sunday. I can't promise it's going to happen because uh, my breathing can take a toll on me at, totally out of the blue. Just literally lay me out to where I just sit in the house all day because I'm so tired. I'm going to get very tired. 
Um, I went to pulmonologist. Uh, I spent a couple days there. Last couple days, I've been to the doctors all day long. I got the new pulmon pul pulmon uh, pulmonary doctor. I'm no longer being seen at Hopkins. Um, so uh, things are actually looking pretty good. They got me on, on, on some new inhalers. I'm breathing better, better than ever. And uh, as you see, I'm not gasping as hard as I, I, I mean, just a month ago, I was gasping harder than I am now. Um, the fibrosis has progressed, but it's progressing slowly, which was, uh, which was excellent news, just fantastic news. It has not progressed at any rate, even close to what they expected. Um, the other issues I had with my lungs from, from uh, being a smoker all my life, it didn't help me at all. Um, I quit smoking a year ago, and, uh, but the smoking wasn't what caused this, and it's not what, what hurt me, but it didn't help. Now it definitely didn't help. So anyways, we're, we're battling forward here. Um, it looks like I have quite a bit more time before I'm going to have to go on the transplant list. I literally am not anywhere close to having to go on it yet. And they thought for sure I would be. I'm still winning. So people, I love you very much. Thank you for watching my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll, I'll get busy on part 13 for you. See ya.